Hello friends, in trick number 469, I am going to tell you a method through which you will be able to find out all the prime numbers between 100 and 200. Now let me tell you that there are 21 prime numbers between these two numbers. I have written all the numbers from 101 to 200 in the form of a 10 by 10 matrix. So 101 to 110 that is 10 numbers and here also 10 rows. So this 10 by 10 matrix will help us find all the prime numbers very easily. Now the method you need to remember for finding these 21 prime numbers goes like this. First of all in the first row that is from 101 to 110 find out all the even numbers because even numbers can never be prime so 102 is even so in the column of 102 every number will be not non prime so this row uh, this column gets cancelled because all numbers are even numbers Likewise, 102, then 104. Entire column gets cancelled. Again, they are all even numbers. 106, all numbers are even. 108, all numbers are even. And 110, all numbers are even. So now, we are left with only odd numbers. Now, out of these remaining odd numbers, you can very easily identify that the number 105 is a multiple of 5. So all numbers ending with 5, they are multiples of 5. So they are not prime. So we can strike off this entire column also because this column is divisible by 5. Now, after having done this, from the remaining 4 columns, that is 40 numbers, 21 numbers are prime. So we need to strike off the remaining numbers. For this, we will adopt a procedure. This number 101 is a prime number. 102 is not a prime number. So what we do is, from starting from here, we go diagonally and strike off whatever number comes on this diagonal. After 102, just leave two numbers, come to 105 and again strike off all the numbers along the diagonal. Again leave two numbers, come to 108, strike off all the numbers coming on this diagonal also like this. Then again leave two numbers, come downwards, strike off all the numbers coming along this diagonal. Just be careful not to change the direction of the diagonal. Then leave two numbers, come to 150, again strike off all the numbers along this diagonal. Again leave two numbers. Come to 180, again strike off the numbers coming along the diagonal. Now see we have drawn diagonals starting from 102 and coming downwards like this. Then leave two numbers, another diagonal, leave two numbers, another diagonal, leave two numbers, another diagonal, leave two numbers, another diagonal and leave two numbers another diagonal. Now if you leave two numbers, nothing is left there. So now many more numbers are struck off. I think the method till here is very easy and the final step is to strike off the multiples of the three numbers 7, 11 and 13. Now these are the numbers 
whose multiples still exist in this matrix. Now for 7, you can start with 105 because 15 into 7 is 105. Keep on adding 7 to the first multiple of 7. 105 plus 7 is 112, it is struck off. 112 plus 7 is 119. Now see, this is a multiple of 7, so we need to strike off this also. Plus 7 is 126, it is struck off. Plus 7 is 133, we have to strike this off. Plus 7 is 140, 147, 154, 161. So we need to strike this off also. 168, 175, 182, 189 and 196. So we have struck off 1, 2, 3. 3 more numbers which were not struck off earlier but they were multiples of 7. Now 7 is done. Now come to 11. See 11 tens are 1 ten. So this is already struck off. 11 into 11 is 121. So here it is 121, 132, 143. So it, this diagonal will be there now. 121 plus 11, 132. 132 plus 11, 143. Divisible by 11. Plus 11, 154. Plus 11, 165. Plus 11, 176. Plus 11, 187. So we need to strike out this also. Plus 11, 198. So this diagonal of 11 again is struck off. You can strike off directly also by drawing this diagonal. Now come to 13. See 13 tens are 130 and prior to 130 you will find 117. So 117 is already struck off. Prior to 117 you will find 104. So 13 eights are 104, 13 nines are 117, 13 tens are 130. Then 130 plus 13 is 143. So 143 is already struck off. Plus 13 is 156. Plus 13 is 169. So here we have a multiple of 13. 169 plus 13 is 182 and plus 13 is 195. So now we are done with 13 also. Let's see how many numbers are remaining now. 101, 103, 107, 109, 113, 127, 131, 137, 139, 149, 151, 157, 163, 167, 173, 179, 181, 191, 193, 197 and 199. Now let us count the encircled numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And that's what I told you in the beginning. There are 21 prime numbers between 100 and 200. So just a quick revision of how we have encircled these numbers. See, I have drawn a 10 by 10 matrix of numbers from 101 to 200. The first step is to strike out all even numbers. So the column of 102, 104, 106, 108, and 110, all the numbers get uh, struck off. Then 105 is divisible by 5, so all the numbers in this column also are cancelled. Now come to the diagonals. We encircle 101, start with 102, draw the diagonal, then leave two numbers, start with 105, 
draw the diagonal. Leave two numbers, start with 108, draw the diagonal. Leave two numbers, start with 120, draw the diagonal. Leave two numbers, start with 150, draw the diagonal. Leave two numbers, start with 180 and draw the last diagonal. So after all the diagonals are drawn, we need to cancel out the multiples of 7, 11 and 13. 7 into 15, that is 15 into 7 is 105. So cancel all the multiples of 7, 105, 112. If, if it is already struck off, then no need. But if it is not struck off, then you need to cancel it out. Like 112 is already cancelled, but 119 is not cancelled, so we cancel that out. So we cancel all the multiples of 7, 11, 11 starts from 121 and we go across the diagonal, you will find all the multiples of 11. So 11, all the multiples are cancelled and then finally 13, all the multiples are cancelled. And whatever remains are these encircled numbers, these are the prime numbers between 100 and 200. So students at junior level need to understand this method of finding the prime numbers. So students, mathematics is full of such interesting shortcuts, such interesting methods which are used to arrive at the results very very quickly thereby saving a lot of time in competitive exams also. So if you like the video, do share it and subscribe the channel.